Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crita Tips and Tricks. In this video today I wanted to uh, demonstrate for you uh, some of the settings to create a soft brush tip in Crita. Now we already have some presets in Crita with some very soft uh, brush tips but I wanted to show you uh, so, uh, what those settings are for the uh, brush tip to create a, a nice soft uh, uh, brush. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with this extremely hard, crisp tip. Let's go ahead and make that black and I want to uh, turn off the size. And also another uh, quick tip, uh, if you are coming from uh, maybe Photoshop um, right here uh, this the size in uh, Krita of the brush tip is the same as brush dynamics in Photoshop okay so anyway we've got this uh, hard tip brush here and so we want to soften that so I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna um, go to my brush tip setting and as you can see here uh, under brush tip and then auto um, it's just set to default and circle so I'm just gonna click this drop down menu under default and I can switch it to soft and there you've got uh, a softer brush tip and let me show you that. You see how we're getting a little, little bit softer there. So, but we can go in, and you can uh, play with those settings some. So now you've got a pretty soft brush, full opacity uh, also. Okay, let's go back to our brush tip again. And once again in that uh, drop down menu up there, we're going to click it this time. And we're going to switch to Gaussian. And that kind of gives us a, a brush tip just a circle with a uh, kind of a, a Gaussian blur around the edges here and then to kind of blur that a little bit more uh, here under the fade settings I can drop drop that fade down a bit and that gives us even softer brush tip you can't really see a lot of difference in that one but it's there so let's go ahead and drop those down the vertical and horizontal fade there which that seems is pretty nice and soft and then we've got uh, something else I was experimenting with so back on my brush tip this time I'm just gonna go back down here to the bottom under our, uh, our uh, settings there I'm just gonna click on default preset and reset uh, all those settings back to default and this time I'm going under uh, go to down here to softness I'm clicking softness I'm gonna turn off my size and my opacity because I really don't care about that for this tutorial and anyway and under softness um, let's we'll see I'm going to try tilt direction and then usually I'll you can see we've got uh, the words soft and hard here so I'm going to move my cursor up here until I get a and the icon becomes a, a cross and then that means I can grab this end of this curve here and I'm going to drag the other side up 
and then I'm gonna go in there and there you have it that's another setting that you can use to create a, your soft brush tip and then of course if I've done this and I, I want the opacity uh, I can I can usually turn down my flow and my opacity settings a little bit or I can uh, let's say control Z that I can also go back in here and uh, click back on my opacity and then turn the use the curve back on and then adjust these curve settings um, okay that's about it uh, for uh, soft brush and uh, now I'm just gonna share a couple of hotkeys with you uh, up on your numbers keyboard uh, number four on the keyboard is rotate counterclockwise and if you're using that I believe it is the default uh, which uh, each time you push it it'll rotate counterclockwise in 15 degree increments and then six on the keyboard you can rotate clockwise and that's also in uh, 15 degree increments and then I can just tap my number five key boom to reset that rotation uh, let's see there was another quick um, shortcut I wanted to share with you and I just cannot remember what it was what was it what was it um, well I guess maybe it wasn't that important since I don't remember so anyway that's it for this tutorial and I have another one planned here coming up before long so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little short video tutorial on creating soft brush and Krita so we'll see you in the next one everybody have a great day